Hey, it's Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's buddy. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and I threw her off. <laughs> yeah, and sex, sex, sex. <laughs> I started yelling, this is Fort Worth Playboy. You are before screaming. She, before she hit record. That's not good. We are going to answer a question today. <laughs> We are we're not high, ghost? guys, I swear. How do you ghost? How do you ghost? And the question came from YouTube. El Diablo says, I have a question. When you realize you fumbled or played it the wrong way, how do you pull out? How do you ghost? And, and yeah. honestly, I'm not good at this. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm in the Which actually surprises me. I would think that you would be really good. Club for people that you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Generally, like, if I meet somebody, I've never cut it, unless they, like, were crazy, crazy, you know, and that's yeah. very rare. It's easier if it's just a person with, like, bad text, you know, they're dry or they're one word answers. Sure. They're not interested. That's easy to step away. You simply just delete their number. Yeah. Or delete the whole thing. Well, I mean, so if they reach back out to you, you don't see it. Does that make sense? Sometimes so blocking. Yeah, sometimes these guys will like delete the number and it'll still come through. And then they don't know who they're, they're talking like, to. Yeah, exactly. Like idiots. Yeah, block the number. Yeah. That way it doesn't come through. Okay, but to actually answer the question, so so if you you know a lot of a lot of the guys I feel like because you're still getting your feet under you, I feel like this happens the most with people who are kind of in that middle learning space, and. So they're pushing, pushing, pushing until they reach the point of push back, you know, yes. like we teach them to do um, or we, you know, advise. But then oftentimes they push so hard that that's where they reach the barrier. And so then sometimes they feel like that was a fumble, you know, in this guy's case. So he's like, I fucked up. I, I need to just just get out of here and and move on about my business. Put this one behind me. In that case, the the best thing to do when you've lost control, the frame, you've lost your frame with a girl is to just cut off communication. You know, and if she texts, remember, you actually don't have to answer. There's not a hard and fast rule even if you left her on red even if you have that notification turned on where she sees that you've seen it, you don't have to answer. She can call. You don't have to answer the phone. Like, it's 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 a hard thing for a lot of people to do unless you're just cold-blooded. But some people, it's actually worse to, to accept the communication than to just cut it off. So... Like Fort Worth was saying, you know, you can block the calls, you can block the number, you can block across social media, depending on how, you know, ingrained or entwined you are already. But hopefully this is only happening on a very elementary kind of surface Early. level. Early. Yeah, surface level relationship and not anything hardcore. I'm not saying to ghost your wife, like that would be dumb. But, you know, if it's somebody who... You just kind of lost frame and you're like, you know what? I'd like to just hit the reset button, but there's no reset in this one. You can. I mean, with time sometimes, you know, I would say you, you pull back. Let's say you go out on a date. It goes bad. You kind of bail early. You know yeah. what I mean? She can kind of tell you you're leaving early. You're, you're getting the hell out of there. They'll reach out. Girls want closure. Yeah. They want... That's never a good idea. No. And I think you, that's a lot what this guy is yeah, dealing with. Yeah. It's never a good idea to explain why a girl is not working for you, why it went south. None of that will help anything ever. Right. You know, none of it will be good for her or for you. Um, so you have to leave it. You have to get good at seeing messages coming through and ignoring them. You know, just yeah. either block or if you're if you're okay with ignoring it. And I hate to say this, but it doesn't take long when you're out dating a lot of girls to get kind of jaded. And you know when you don't want to 
pursue anything further. Yeah. You just let it stack up. Exactly. Well, and a lot of times closure, what girls mean by wanting closure is that they want to tell you everything that's wrong with you. Yeah, that's true. They're not talking about wanting a nice, happy wrap-up like a Hallmark movie. They genuinely just want to... Shut you down. Shut you down. So, you know, you're, you, by answering the phone, by responding to the message, by letting her still see your social media, whatever it is, it's just opening yourself up for exactly that, and that's no fun. No that's, one no one benefits. That's there. exactly it. Because girls don't take rejection well. No. You know, and you're you're gonna go through a lot of women and you're gonna have to reject some. Yeah. Because your time's valuable. Absolutely. So we know that this is, is not a real deep uh, deep answer, but the bottom line is if you feel like you need to ghost, you just ghost. You cut off all forms of communication, you block the number, you delete the number. And you move on with your life. And you just don't worry about it. And if you do feel that it would be something negative, like she would come onto your social media, you always end up finding out four or five hours later after she's posted something hateful on your timeline. Yeah. It's best to just go ahead and block them. It is. If if, if she has that that gear, you might as well yeah. just go on it. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. Yeah. True. She'll forget about you more quickly. She, she will yeah. because she'll, she'll get tired of trying and, and hitting brick walls, not being able to like get to you. Yeah. So then, you know. It's too much trouble. It is. Yeah. She, and, and she wants attention. If she's not getting negative or positive attention from you, she's going to get it for, she wants to get it from somewhere. So if you're blocking her attempts at attention, then she has to move on faster. It's a win-win for you. Anyway, if you like this podcast, please like, subscribe, Keep asking us questions, whether it's in the DMs, whether it's in the comments. We love to hear your questions. We love to hear your stories where this kind of stuff has worked for you. Um, If you uh, need a little bit of helpful advice, we've got a dread book in the comments down below or in the description box, I'm sorry, with the link there. Dread goes a long way in preventing... Um, you lose in your frame. So it's just a really great way to control the, the story, shall we say. So pick that up. If you are struggling with uh, losing your frame with women, we think that's a great uh, tool that we offer and book that we offer. So we want you to win. Bye!